So the other day I went to GameStop and saw some Yu-Gi-Oh product that I've never seen before. So in today's video, we're gonna be opening it up and finding out what's inside. Let's go. So right here I have the bag that I picked up from GameStop with all the Yu-Gi-Oh product inside. And this is product I've genuinely never seen before. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's these little plastic things with a bunch of packs in them. So essentially you get three booster packs per and they were 11 bucks. I have a platinum membership with uh, EB Games or GameStop. I don't know why I called it EB because I'm Canadian and we used to call it EB Games, but it's GameStop and uh, 11.69 per and there's three packs in each one of these. Now, you know what this is really nostalgic or what it feels like? It feels like does anyone remember those uh, back in the day, like a long time ago in the early 2000s, there were those uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card packs where it was like plastic like this, but it was like, you know, the old school packs. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know. Anyways, it feels like that. And uh, yeah, these are really cool. I have some cool packs over here. Nothing like too crazy. I don't even think it's anything too modern. It's probably just stuff that is pre-packaged that they couldn't sell. So let's find out what's inside of here, but we got to open them up. And honestly, I have no idea how. So uh, let me... Um, find that out eventually all right so that took a while but i think i finally got them open let me put these to the side over here let's open them up one by one i actually maybe not even have gotten it open what the heck this is so difficult all right there we go i got it right over here i don't want to damage the packs but uh there you go Th that packaging was tough but we got a battle of chaos we got a legendary duelist okay that kind of sucks and then uh valiant smashers is not too bad let's see what we get from all of these and then i'll open them all up together i just feel like we gotta open these up right now because this is gonna be rough. All right, so after that really rough start, we finally have everything opened up. And now that I'm looking at it, it looks like it's a bunch of side sets. You do got a couple core booster sets like Battle of Chaos. You have Burst of Destiny and Lightning Overdrive over here, but it's a lot of side sets. So we got two Amazing Defenders, two Kings Court over here. Legendary Duelist sucks. We got uh, Valiant Smashers, Grand Creators. You know, still some pretty cool items that you can find in here. Some pretty cool cards, I would say. But uh, first things first, let's just get right into the opening. Legendary Duelist, I don't expect much from this. I mean, there is technically a Ghost Rare you can pull from this. I think Abyss Shark is also like a 4 or $5 card. All Marine says it's not too bad. Kairu Shin over here. I don't think we're guaranteed anything. Oh, Nosh Knight. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a super rare. I don't even know if we're guaranteed a super rare, but these Legendary Duelist packs, especially this one and the Fire one, they were not very good. You know, a lot of them... Uh, oh, this one actually technically has Droplet. I mean, Droplet's been reprinted a few times since. Seventh Eternity, Princess Battle. Yeah, I don't think we're guaranteed anything. Yep, I didn't think so. Okay, so at least we got a super rare, I guess, from something we're not guaranteed. That's, that's kind of nice. Droplet was in there, but uh, we didn't pull that great. So... Finally, let's get into this. Let me talk about the product for a little bit. 12 bucks, right? 11.69 while I open these up. 11.69 uh, Canadian, I would say, for three packs. Now, in theory, that's not a bad price. The problem is the quality of the packs. Obviously, you guys can see. I mean, some of these are okay, but then the Legendary Duelist is kind of not that great, right? So that's kind of where it hurts. Foolish Brother is a pretty good card. Uh, Angelo Valmonica over here. So that's what kind of sucks with these things where it's kind of like, okay, in, in, in theory, it's a really good idea, right? We got 11 bucks, three packs, just about $4 a pack, essentially. And if you're getting core booster sets, that's not bad, right? Even the older core booster sets is still not too bad. It just becomes a problem when the packs are, you know, all side sets and then legendary duelists. And, and it's not great because you're really not really getting much value. The, the, the side sets are usually $4 or under for the packs anyway. So it's not like you're actually saving anything by buying this three pack booster. It's more just kind of like, hey, buy three packs and, you know, we're going to recycle these. Kind of sucks. It's kind of like a little bit of an unknown, I guess. Uh, X Pretty Noir over here is super rare. It's kind of like an unknown, but, uh, you know, I was hoping... I was hoping, um, you know, these would be a little bit better. I'll be honest with you. I know I might seem low energy right now. It's actually really early in the morning. I'm, op I'm opening this up before work. But um, you know what? Let's turn things around. Let's change our energy. Let's get hype. Let's pull a... I guess there is a... Okay, Hare, Hare. Okay, it's not a CR. I was going to say there are odds for like a CR in some of these. And then the main sets, of course, you got the... Uh, not the QCRs. These ones have Starlights, I believe, right? Now, what are the odds of getting Starlights from a single pack? Very, very slim. But can we make it happen? Yes, because we're manifesting right now. And that's what we're doing. We're manifesting, okay? What is this? King's Court? Okay, King's Court has some pretty cool stuff. I mean, a Collector's Rare always is going to be nice, right? Pot of Duality. We got a wind up, a eternal bond, and a crystal girl. Okay, still all super rares, and I'm pretty sure that is what, other than the uh, legendary duelist, we're guaranteed a super rare per pack. So it's not like we've hit it yet. Okay, can we just get an ultra? This King's Court. What's in King's Court? I believe the gods are in here, actually. The um, the the, the Pharaoh's rare ones. Those would be cool, cool as well. Gravekeeper Spy. That's good for goats. Uh, Utopia Ray, Rhoda, 
And White Rose. Yes, yes, yes. Let's not hit anything. Okay. Guys, what was that? Was that four? Four times three is 12. We have 12 packs and we're already on down to four packs just because I've been talking the whole time. And those side sets are not that great. Let's go Battle of Chaos. So Battle of Chaos, you know what card I haven't pulled? I've opened actually a, a decent amount of this set. I have not pulled that Dark Magician. You know, that alternate art one, the, the manga art. That would be pretty cool. We got Epsilon, Kai's of the Hidden Star, Noru. We got Norden Beast, uh, Gull and Bursty. Okay, so that's it for our super rare. And again, super rares are guaranteed here. So ideally something better than a super rare. Let's save that Battles Chaos. Let's uh, do some Lightning Overdrive now. But uh, yeah, anything ideally more than a super rare would be really nice. My, um, you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been opening up a bunch of packs recently. Something that I've been enjoying doing on the channel. And it just, I've come across a lot of them for decent prices, right? But, uh, ooh, a Utopic or Utopia Ray. I mean, it's an ultra rare. Hey, it's better. Than a, than a super rare. It's not great, but it's better than a super rare. We'll take it. We'll take it, of course. Basil or shoot. But uh, yeah, I was going to say, I've been opening up a lot of packs just because I've been fortunate enough to uh, come across them for some de pretty decent prices, I would say. And um, I'm going to be honest, if you guys go watch our last few pack openings, hasn't been great. My luck has not been super, super hot, but we can all turn that around with a single pack, with a single QCR. It's not QCR, it's Starlight, but we pulled the Super Rare, so it doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, that's not great. Okay, last pack, guys. Let's make... Okay, think about it. $12 per four of these. I paid $48. $48 for these. Is that worth it? So far, it's not looking like it's worth it, but if we pull that Dark Magician uh, manga art, that, that would make it up. That's that's really just what... I, I don't I forget, I remember what else is in here. I think Blue Eyes Jet Dragon's in here. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Vision with Blue Eyes. I mean, we were talking about Blue Eyes, but... Nothing in that one. I think the Dark Magician, if it is anywhere, is in the end. So, it's not there. Yep, that is that is it. That is it, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, so, all in all, um, let me talk to you guys. That was cool. Those were products that I've never seen before, products that I wanted to open up on the channel. But I will say, they weren't the greatest quality product. Now, when I saw them, I did see three packs, and I did see Burst of Destiny. I did see Battle of Chaos at the front of these. And I was thinking, you know... Even if there are some side set, you know, Kiko is not bad. You know, Valiant Smashes is not bad, but Legendary Duelist is not great. So if you guys go to your local GameStop and you find these, maybe your luck is better than mine. But I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't seem like it's worth it. You're not really getting any sort of deal when you're buying these three pack blisters. If you were, it'd be a little bit different. Like if you were paying like 10 bucks Canadian, which is like 7, 8 USD for three packs. It's like, okay, three bucks a pack. You can't really go wrong. But when you're paying $4 a pack and you're getting packs that are worth $4 or less, then you're not really getting much of a deal. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a shorter one. It was one of my pack openings that I just, I really like doing these pack openings for you guys. And I really like opening these so you don't really have to. Now you guys know not to really buy this product. Whatever, let me be the guinea pig, I guess. But thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy today's video. Or you guys want to see me open up more products just like this one. These weird, funky products that you don't see every day. And then, um, yeah, we upload seven days a week. So make sure you guys subscribe. Stay tuned to all that. All the good stuff. You guys get deck profiles, combo videos. You guys get product openings like this one. A little bit of everything right here on the channel. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.